Hello everyone and welcome back to part 78 of Build Hater's Victory. Okay, so in today's video we're working on adding all the little dummy guns all the way across the three main decks. And obviously I've also fit them on the uh, the port and the starboard side. So like I say, actually in the instructions, if you follow the instructions, they actually don't actually tell you to fit these uh, dummy cannons until right at the very last issue which is, which is right at the very last issue which is 120 and like I say you could probably put the, the lower dummy cannons in right in the last issue but like I said I thought if I'm going to do it I may as well do them all together and one of the reasons I wanted to kind of fit them in now is obviously if we're getting to a stage where we're adding these uh, obviously the chain whales that we built oh, almost a year and a half ago and I've actually fitted them on the uh, on the port side one year but I'm not actually put them onto the starboard side one and one of the reasons obviously they actually ask you to fit the dummy guns after you've kind of put the chain whales in and obviously all the iron work for the, uh, the dead eyes for the rig and I just thought to myself it can be so difficult to try and work through these little sections once we've already kind of fitted them so I just thought that I mean anybody else is building this way as well I just think it might be a little bit easier to actually you know I mean get them in now and then they're in and we aren't going to worry about them again until obviously uh, well we don't have to worry about them at all yeah, like I say, I thought I'd get them fitted and they're all in fitting in place and we never have to worry about them again. And like I said, we just kind of carry on with the build. Like I said, we're getting really close now. Like I say, it's, uh, there's parts being added all the time. I actually added, I'll say, all the gun port lids. I've actually I've done that in a previous video. So if you want to follow that steps, I think you can see that in uh, part 57, which is fitting the gun port lids. I'll put a link in the description. You know, I say it's pretty much the same procedure all the way across. And also I wanted to mention as well, that it's a little bit of a mistake. Well, it's not really a mistake. It's a bit of an issue with the, uh, obviously with the instructions. There's actually, I forgot that actually when I painted this this uh, port side and the starboard side, I mean, actually there's another row of wriggles all the way across to be fitted. But you don't actually get them supplied until issue 96. So like I said, so obviously when I got the bag of parts off issue 96, I found the wiggles and I thought, oh God, I should have fitted these. You know, months, well, I painted this back in January uh, 2020. So this has been painted like 22 months. And like I say, now I've got to try and obviously fit all these wriggles and then kind of repaint that so like i say so anybody else is building this as well if you want to kind of look out for that and get these these bottom wriggles if you've got the full kit go and uh, drag, drag them out or issue 96 and get them fitted now like six now i've got to kind of like mask it all up and obviously for the for the yellow ochre and the black section so that's a bit of a bit of a pain so i thought i'd just mention that make it easy for people's building this so the video I'm about to show you is just a little uh, little jig that I use, very simple, just so I can get all these dummy guns all centred. And when you've got so many to do, sometimes it's easy just to keep, you know, I mean, use a little jig and do it that way. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you all again soon. So I want to start fitting these dummy guns. I want to fit them now because later on in the build, when we start putting all like obviously the gun lids and rigging and everything, it, you know I mean, it kind of means that later on in the build. We're gonna to have to be working, working around ourselves. So I'll get these in now, and then we stitch you, and then we'll have to worry about these later on. Okay, so we've got obviously the three decks, and like I say, the top deck, we already had the uh, 12 pounders, and the 24 pounders, and the 42 pounders. But in the kit, there's only really two kind of sizes. We get these ones that obviously are gonna represent the 12 pounder and the 24 pounder. And then we get these large ones, which is gonna represent the 42 pounders. Okay, so we've got this little spike on the end of the dummy, dummy guns, and these are around about, about two mil. So I say, so you can kind of freehand this if you want to, and try and match it up that way. But what I found is one easy thing to do is I've just got this uh, this eight by eight block, and I just drilled a two mil hole all the way down the center. I can see it's uh, even though I tried my my best, it's still slightly a little bit off center but that shouldn't be a problem i say a little bit later on i'd really like to invest in a pillar drill so i could hit these kind of drills really accurate but like i say it's still going to serve the purpose it's not going to be a lot easier to kind of drill these holes rather than just freehand them so all my gun ports are all around about eight mil so what i could do now is i can take this block as so i can push it into the into the gun port and that obviously that leaves this kind of this hole. Like I say, it's just that one seems quite quite long. But the trouble is, obviously, when we get down to the, uh, the bottom deck, obviously some of them are quite shallow, but then some of them are really deep. So I had to kind of cut them a bit longer to so I can get every one. Okay, so like that first one, obviously that's going to get closed off 
we all see the uh, gun port there that's closed off all the time so we're going to leave that one so next one i'm going to go is the first one so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to drop this into this this hole and then all i'm going to do is going to take my little pin vise with this that's fitted with a 1.8 mil drill i think or is it a till yeah 1.9 so it gives it a little bit of, a little bit of room to work with and all i'm going to do is just going to push it down this hole and then kind of you'll see it looks nice and square just start to drill myself a nice hole and that should go all the way through and that should be no problem okay so now that's drilled that hole what i'm going to do now is just take one of these little dummy guns we can see the hole i'm just going to push it in and that's just going to nice and center up that first gun port well that's just all we're going to do then just going to move across and do it for the next one And then let's put the next one in. And say so there's a little bit of wiggle room, so you can kind of line them up a little bit better after. And I'll just do one more. So I say so these ones where I've actually fitted the gun port lids previously when they've asked us to do that. I can't actually get this little block in now, so that's why I wanted to put them all in first. So kind of once you put all these gun port lids in, it'd be hard to get these centered up. So I might say you're just working over yourself, so I think it'd be really easier to do it this way. So same thing there, put it right there, center it up. That's drilled all the way through. push that one in okay so pretty much all we do is carry on all the way down this port side that's not a problem now i'm just going to put a couple of these uh, 42 pounders in as well just to show you that so same again push it in that one's a bit tighter some are a bit tighter than others and i'm just going to drill this hole Okay, so take one of these, these 42 pounders, like I say, same again, got the little spike on the end. And just got to try and line up the hole. A bit tricky on this one one, because it's slightly, slightly angled. That one's gone in there. Let's say somewhere a slight tight fit and just take your this little tack hammer and you can just tighten it on. And then if there is a little bit of adjustment, you can still adjust it. Okay. Well then we'll do the next one. Like I say, you can tell these are a lot deeper because obviously that template went in a lot more. a lot nicer so then we'll do one more okay so I'm going to just try this one So it's quite dark in these holes, so it's not easy to see. Like I say, it's a really nice tight fit. I'm just going to pull this one out. Okay. I'm just going to pull this one back out again a second. So as you secure these, you can drop on a little bit of super glue if you want. But I'm actually going to paint in some uh, wood glue. Because so all that will do is just make the wood behind it swell up and grab this really nice. Let me just push that in. 
Okay, so that's pretty much all these uh, 42, first 42 pounders in. I'll put the first, if I can put one over it, so I've got this all nice and equal. Nice, so same again. Let's take a little bit of glue, let's paint it onto this, uh, this spike and the dummy cannon, dummy gun, I should say, the cannons. Push this one on. Okay, and like I say, that's the uh, the first uh, three on the couple of decks there. Like I say, well, I'm going to just do them two, just drill them freehand to still uh, get them as long best as I can. But like I say, just using this little jig, like I say it's nice and uh, nice and easy. And it just means when you've got like something where you've got like over a hundred cannons to fit, hundred guns, I should say, it's just going to make it a lot more easier. And you're pretty much going to get every one all nice and lined up. So then what I can kind of do now is I can kind of come along, start fitting up all these uh, gun port lids that I've uh, fitted before, that I made uh, way back before. You can actually see this in one of my earlier videos. And I can start to attach these and attach the ropes as well. I don't have to worry about these cannons anymore. They'll all be feared. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all again soon.